let us have example 16 for the beams shown below the total uniform load is 2.4 kilopascal so that's the pressure l1 equals l2 equals 6 and the spacing s is 4 meters determine the maximum moment in beams a b and de by both the two-way loading and the equivalent loading given in the formulas below also determine the maximum moment in beam de assume all supports are simple and beam weighs 4 kilonewtons per meter so this is the beam that's the plan so we have to consider ad first remember ad is uh, an exterior beam so its loading would be half of or almost half of the loading for the interior beams because of the tributary area but let us check the ratio L over S, uh, by the way, we can only apply this equivalent loading situation here for the case where we have two-way loading distribution. So L over S is long span 6 divided by short, short span 4, which is 1.5 less than 2. Therefore, the loading distribution should be two-way. Remember that we have to draw uh, 45 degree lines from the end support, then that would define the loading tributary area for that member. So, the way loading situation. So, if this is the beam, that's the loading situation. This way is 4 kN per meter. And this would be the loading trapezoidal. And because this length is S over 2, this is also S over 2. So, the Equivalent intensity of this trapezoidal loading would be equal to pressure 2.4 times S over 2, where S over 2 is 4 over 2. So 2.4 times 4 over 2 is 4.8 kN per meter. So by symmetry, reaction at A equals reaction at B. That would be the situation. So let's solve this by computing the maximum moment based on this loading. Anyway, this is simply supported. We will not use the formula first and let's verify the formulas after we compute the maximum moment of beam AB. So RA equals RB, this is equal to the total load. So, so that's 6 meters, so that's 2 meters. So area of the area of the rectangle divided by 2. So RA equals RB equals 1 half of 4 times 6 plus 1 half of area of trapezoid, so 1 half of 2 plus 6 times 4.8. So 1 half of, this is the area of the trapezoid. So solving for RA is equal to RB, it is equal to 21.6 kN. So once we know the reaction, the maximum moment of course at the center or at the mid span, then all you have to do is sum up moments about that point at the mid span considering the loads to the left so we have ra times 3 because this is 3 meters this is 2 meters which is s over 2 so maximum moment for beam ab equals ra 21.6 times 3 then minus the moment of this triangular loading here this is equal to one half of 2 times 4.8 the moment arm is 2 thirds plus 1 so, 1 half of 2 times 4.8 times moment arm 2 thirds plus 1. Then minus the moment of this uniform loading, the length is 1 meter, half of 2. So, it is 1 times 4.8 times 0.5. Then minus the moment of this weight of beam. This is equal to 3 meters times 4 meters times 1.5. Minus 3 times 4 times 1.5. So computing for the maximum moment in AB, we have 36.40 kN meter. Now, let's adapt these formulas here for the long span. And remember, this is an exterior beam, so its loading would be, equivalent loading would be given by this formula here. Just the shaded uh, color loading or the trapezoidal loading, let's try let's compute its equivalent uniform rectangular loading so from this equation here we have pressure so
So, WE, WE equals pressure 2.4 times S4 over 6, quantity 3 times 4 over 6, quantity squared. Then, there's, that's the loading because this is an exterior beam. So, the equivalent uniform loading would be 4.089 kN meter. As expected, it should be lower than 4.8 because this time it covers the entire span. So, the maximum moment at the center or at the mid span of a simply supported beam is equal to WL squared over 8, where W is the W, the unit total uniform load on AB, which is equal to 4.089. That's the uniform weight of the beam, which is 4. So that gives us 8.089 kilonewton meter. Then substitute into the formula WL square over 8. So 8.089 times 6 square over 8. Then solving for the moment, it is equal to uh, 36.4 kilonewton per meter, which is the same as this equation here based on the actual loading. So that's why this formula is applicable for two-way span and only when the loads are uh, distributed. There is no concentrated load in between. So we can apply this formula. Next for beam DE. So this is beam DE, interior beam. So this, its tributary area would be uh, two trapezoids, so like that. So this is S over 2, this, this is another S over 2, so the total width is S or 4. So therefore, the weight of the beam is 4 kN per meter, the intensity of the load is equal to pressure times S over 2, S over 2, so pressure times S, which is 2.4 2 times S, which is 4, so 9.6 kN per meter. Again, the reaction at D and E equal by symmetry. Then we can compute the reaction by getting the computing the total load, then divide by 2. So for the beam, so that's 2 meters above. This is also 2 meters. So this is 3 meters. That's 2 meters. So this distance is 1 meter. And this is the equivalent load for beam, interior beam DE, call that WE1. So let's consider first the actual loading. So RD equals RE equals 1 half of 4 times 6 plus 1 half of area of trapezoid 1 half 2 plus 6 times 9.6. So RD equals RE equals 31.2 kilonewtons. Now that we have found RD, then we cut the mid span, then consider all the loads to the left. So it is equal to RD times 3, 31.2 times 3 minus the moment of the triangular loading, which is 1 half of 2 times 9.6 times moment arm 2 thirds plus 1 minus the moment of the uniform load with this load here. This is 1 times 9.6 times 0.5, then minus the moment of the weight of the beam, uniform weight of the beam. This is 3 times 4 times 1.5. I hope you can follow the solution. So Mx for beam DE, therefore, is equal to uh, 54.8 kilonewton meter. Now, applying the formula, the equivalent <laughs> uniform load for beam DE is 2.4 times 4 over 6, 3 minus 4 over 6, 1 t squared, then times 2. We have to multiply this by 2 because remember that this is an interior beam. This is for this loading here and the other one. So that's why we have to multiply it by 2. Uh, all interior beams multiply by 2. Exterior, just 1. Just like before. So W equivalent to 1 equals 8.178. So for this colored uh, yellow-orange loading, but the uniform weight of the beam is, al is already there. So the total uniform weight of this beam DE is equal to 8.178 plus 
plus 4. So 12.178 kilonewton per meter. And the maximum moment in a simply supported beam which occurs at a mid span due to uniform load is W uniform load times L square over 8. So N max for beam D is 12.178 square over 8. And you'll get the same result of 54.8 kilonewton meter. Now, finally, for member BE, the tributary area would be triangle. Then, because this is an interior girder BE, so we have to double the load. So, this is the short span. And the formula for the equivalent loading is PS over 3. But we have to multiply this by 2 for interior girder. So, or interior BE. So, this is the loading equivalent or BE. So, the length is S or 4 meters. The, the weight of the beam is still 4 kN. The intensity of pressure here is W times S or pressure times S because this is S over 2. That is S over 2. So, it's 9.6 kN per meter. 4 kN per meter uniform weight of beam. That's 2 meters. That's also 2 meters. So these are the reactions RB and RE, which are equal by symmetry. So let's solve for RB, RB or RE. Then after that, we sum up moments considering the loads to the left at the center. So we have W equivalent to, let's call it W equivalent to. So RB equals RE, considering the original loading is 1 half of 4 times 4 plus one half of area of triangle which is one half of four times nine point six. So one half of area of triangle one half of four times nine point six. So R B equals R E equals uh, seventeen point six kilonewton meter. Now that we have found R B we can sum up moment about the mid span or center to solve for the maximum moment. And that is R B seventeen point six times two minus the moment of this triangle minus the moment of this half uh, weight of the beam. So it is equal to 17.6 times 2 minus 1 half of 2 times 9.6 times 2 thirds then minus moment of the uniform weight of beam 2 times 4 times 1. So computing that value maximum moment in BE equals 20.8 kN meter. So using the equivalent load method, WE sub 2 equals PS over 3, then times 2 because it is an interior beam or interior girder. So pressure 2.4 times S4 over 3 times 2 from this equation here for short span. So W equivalent 2 is equal to 6.4 kN per meter because the weight of the beam is 4, so plus 4. The total uniform loading, equivalent uniform loading for men for beam BE is equal to 10.4 kilonewton per meter. Then maximum moment because this is uniformly distributed load and simply supported WL square over 8. So 10.4 times 4 square over 8. Plus 1 this time is 4 divided by 8. So computing for maximum moment BE it is equal to 20.8 kilonewton meter. So in other words, even if this equations here for equivalent loading are not given, we can still compute the maximum moment based on the actual loading, not based on equivalent loading. Because, of course, if the formulas are not given, you can, you can hardly memorize the formulas, so use the basic approach.